Hello everybody, this is Rita with Restyled Renewed and I'm just going to do some quick uh, dark waxing on this hutch. So I thought I would come on and just show you uh, real quick how I do that. I'm just going to do the bottom front part of this, not the whole uh, hutch. I'm still trying to clear wax the top part. So anyways, yesterday I did um, clear wax on most of it. I'm not quite done yet. And so I'm going to add a little bit more character today with uh, dark wax. This is just um, Anthony Sloan dark wax. And it's actually a mix. It's a mix of um, dark and a little bit of clear, which oftentimes I will mix uh, the waxes. So I'm just going to um, add some here to the front. And this hutch is the one that has all the blue uh, transfers on it. So typically you want to go um, in areas like this where there's, you know, all these crevices and um, some depth there. That's kind of a good place to put your wax. So I'm just going to do sort of inside first and then I'll do the uh, outside here where the um, transfer is. And again, this dries fast, so you don't want it um, sitting on here too, too long before you wipe it. It kind of does the same thing that, uh, that glazing does. And then you kind of want to leave it, um, you know, you want to leave some of it in there in kind of the cracks and stuff. Kind of makes it look old and aged and uh, kind of like what glazing does, but glazing is just different. This is. Um, I prefer wax. I prefer working with gla waxes than um, glazing. I don't know. I find you can do, you can. It's. I find wax uh, much much easier to work with than glazing, because you can just kind of move it around. And if I made a mistake, let's say I put too much on here, I can just come back and kind of wipe it away with clear wax. So that's why I find the wax um, so much better. Thanks ladies for joining. So I'm going to add a little bit more here. And also this is not straight out of my out of the can. This is a mix and I added a little bit of mineral spirits in this too. So it's not um, straight out of the dark wax can. So that's why you can see how it's going on um, super super soft it has mineral spirits in it and mineral spirits makes the wax a lot easier to uh, work with to move around so if you want more to stay then you just don't wipe off as much Right, you would just then keep more there and be a little bit more gentle with your wiping than if you wanted uh, more to come off. So it all, all depends on the look, um, see? It all depends on the look you want on the piece you are working on. If you want it to be super, super aged, um, then you would leave more, you wouldn't wipe off as much as I'm wiping off. 
probably the light in here isn't very good. There. And today is actually uh, really hot, so um, I would not have put the transfers on on today. You do not want to work with transfers um, in the heat. So if I was applying the transfers, I wouldn't be doing it today because it's too hot today to be to do any application of uh, transfers. There's definitely tricks you need to know um, when you're working with transfers. There are definitely tricks you have to know about, things that you need to know about. So um, I send you all that. I send you all my tips and everything when you buy a transfer from me. I email you all the things that I have learned. It just comes with your purchase. So I'm just going to do some now on the transfer itself. That's another reason why I love these so much because it's incredible what you can do to them on top of them to add even more uh, character. So see how now it looks way more aged than uh, the one right here on the front of the drawer. The wax is adding uh, so much more character. Just kind of aging it, making it look kind of old. And you know, maybe inside, maybe that one lip, I want it to be lighter um, and this darker, then it just depends on how you wipe it. And right here, I want uh, wax here, so I'm going to, I don't know if you can see, right here I'm going to leave that collection of wax there. And then I'm just going to wipe this off. And if I want this to be aged even more, then I can put even more wax on. Or I could have gone straight uh, dark wax, but this is my mix I'm using um, of a little bit of clear in with the dark and mineral spirits. Mineral Spirits make such a difference when you're working with her colored waxes, uh, the dark and the black. It just makes, it helps to move it around so much better. So I think that's all the aging I'm going to do on the stencil. And then I'm going to go around now and just do a little bit of wax on the very edge. And I'm going to put some on the hardware too, even though... I'm going to add um, silver. My client wants silver on here. So I am going to add a little bit of silver too. And that would be um, silver gilding wax. Okay. And if I get some up here, because I'm not ready yet to work on that area, I'm just going to wipe it until I'm ready to work up there. So let me just open this and try to get inside this edge here. And I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, just a little bit here in the door. So I'm just going to wipe all that off now before it gets too, before it gets too uh, stuck. That's the thing about the wax is you can't leave it on here. You can't leave it on here for a long time because if you do, then that's where people have problems. People talk about it being tacky. Well, they're leaving it on too long. You can't do that. You have to work fast um, with her wax. So that's where the tackiness comes. You just want to work in small, small sections. So look, I don't know, hopefully you can tell, I don't know if you can tell the difference between this door and the drawers. The lighting is terrible. Let me try moving it back. Can you see this is now, this now looks aged. It looks like it's been sitting for a while. It's kind of gotten, um, I almost want to use the word dirty, but you know what I mean, aged and old and that's the amazing thing about the waxes. Now I'm going to open up this and work up here. Can you guys see? Yeah. 
and I very rarely paint inside um, a cabinet because you know we're taking uh, dishes and pots and pans and stuff in and out um, that's why I don't often paint the inside the very inside now the back the doors I always paint the uh, the backs of the doors unless someone tells me not to but you know if I get um, if I, someone's bringing their furniture for me to paint more than likely they don't know about furniture painting so they're not gonna really say well yes you need to paint the back or no don't paint the back of the door they're bringing it to the person who knows what to do and then they let me decide so there now if I wanted this let me bring it closer if I wanted I can if I wanted to I would do some more here and then I would let this sit for a minute and inside those crevices inside the crevices I'm just gonna let the crevices the inside there sit and then that would collect right it would harden and uh, make it look even more aged did you wax the transfer also yes I put wax on the transfer because I wanted to age the transfer. I don't know if you can tell. So this has wax on it and this one does not. Hopefully you can see. Uh, let me try moving it back. Uh, the black wax, yes, the black wax would make it look even more aged. And they, they both, it just, I mean, they're both very similar. Um, they both add aging whoops but the black wax I find the black wax good for the dark colors I use it often on um, like the green she's got a really dark green Annie Sloan uh, the black wax I often use on the dark colors greens reds those kind of colors and um, they are amazing with her dark color it just, the black wax adds um, so much more depth maybe is the word I would use yeah so hopefully you guys can see the difference between I know the light is weird between this door and right here this is not H yet this just has the clear wax on it so let me move over and I'm gonna try to do the uh, drawers here so yeah that's what's so cool about these uh, transfers right is what you can do on top of them there's so many uh, so much product different products and different materials you can put on top of the transfers so not only are you going to uh, seal them which they do need to be sealed but you're adding product all sorts of different products um, can go on top of them waxes, water sealers, all sorts of stuff. Paint, if I wanted paint dripping down, I could have paint dripping down. So I'm gonna wipe this drawer and then you'll be able to see the difference between um, what it's gonna look like compared to the one below it. And so it depends on how, how much you're wiping off. How long you're gonna let it sit. You basically, you do not want this sitting very long on here at all. Try to get inside here. And this is a really good place. Let's say this kind of hardware right inside here too. If you want this to be really aged, you would leave uh, quite a bit of dark wax in here. You still need to wipe it, but you, you wouldn't have to wipe as much of it away. Like you don't want to ever just kind of leave something because um, it's gonna get tacky. Like you need to do some type of wiping. So 
to, I just want like a little bit of aging. So that's all the wax I'm gonna put on the drawers. Hopefully you guys can see the difference between, uh, let's see, can you see the difference between the top one and, and these ones here? See how it looks more, and see how it looks kind of old now? That's what we want. See, any more questions? Nope. And now remember, this has clear wax on it first. You do not ever want to put, well, you can if you want, but if you put dark wax, especially black wax, on a light color like this, straight on without doing clear wax first, it's going to really make it dark. It's gonna make it ugly, like it's not gonna be a very nice look. Um, so you wanna make sure when you're working on these light colors, you know, you should put the clear wax on first before you put the dark wax on. So the more you work with it, the more you will understand wax and the more you'll get, you know, how it works and how to do it. And But it does, it dries um, very fast. So you do have to work pretty fast with it. it just changes everything and oftentimes um, somewhere like around the hardware that's a good place to leave to not wipe so much if you wanted something really aged I would leave I would put more wax there and just kind of leave it Clear wax after you paint, do you rub off? Uh, well, you're doing what I would do. You're, if you're gonna use clear wax, yes, you're gonna put the wax on just like I'm doing here, and um, you're gonna wipe it off, yeah. If you go back to the video I did yesterday, I was putting clear wax on this hutch. Uh, you can see how you do it, but it's the same. You don't ever wanna put uh, clear wax on or any wax and just leave it. You have to wipe off the wax, yes. It's gonna go in this little area right here. A little bit more. And if I wanted this to be darker, I could have gone straight. Um, I could have gone straight dark without mixing it but this is a mix so I didn't want it to be too dark and see I don't know if you can tell so right here right here in this section I left a little bit I didn't quite wipe off enough wipe off the same way I wiped like here and here so how you wipe um, also makes a difference but you do want to wipe you don't want that just sitting there because then your piece is going to feel tacky and gross. So it, all her wax is clear, dark, uh, brown, white. All of them have to be uh, taken off. The clear wax is... Another reason why you want to put the clear wax on first is the clear wax is what's protecting the paint. So most paints need a protector. And so that's what the clear wax does is the clear wax is uh, kind of protecting the paint. And then the colored waxes you use, um, they're good for doing this kind of stuff, for adding character, for aging, for for you know, making things look old or weathered or whatever. 
So hopefully you guys can tell the difference between these two and this. And look how well the transfers are holding up um, to, this is now the second coat of wax that is on top of the transfers. And they are, you know, totally fine. And I'll come back afterwards and um, I gotta do all the tops of the drawers still. You know, you need to make sure you open up all your drawers and I've gotta probably clean up the sides and do this to my blue chest in my bedroom okay yeah you can it's um it's amazing for adding character definitely it's an incredible product you know if you like this kind of look now obviously someone who doesn't like you know people who like the modern uh, clean lines uh, that's they're not going to go for something like this but this kind of look this is the kind of look that I love to do so this kind of stuff is right right up my alley okay can you see right here look at all this here okay so what I'm going to do um, I'm going to just going to show you guys what can happen here if you uh, leave, if you, if let's pretend I wanted this to be really aged and worn and like it's been sitting um, somewhere for like a hundred years or something, I would just do all this and I would just let this sit maybe for a little bit longer, right? All around here. So it makes it look dirty, like it makes it look see how it makes it look um, really extra aged right in here yeah I don't want that so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off we're not looking for uh, you know we're not looking for something that's too grungy with this one Okay, that's probably enough um, on the drawers. My favorite part for us, if you want to wax something, is um, areas like here with the with the whoops, areas like here with the doors because of all the um, all the the indents there. You you can really see how well you can get wax there. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And this is just a regular little tiny brush from, um, I think I bought it at Michael's. I don't remember. Wax brushes are easier to find than um, paint brushes. You don't have to be as particular with a wax brush as you do with a paintbrush. A paintbrush, I find you have to be a little bit more careful with than a wax brush. Okay, there. I think that looks good for that section. I think I'm going to add um, just a tad bit more right here. I'm going to add a little bit more right here. So that's where these little brushes come in handy too, is uh, when you're working around hardware.
I like the one down here better, so I'm trying to um, kind of match that one a bit. I think that looks better now. It looks a little bit closer to the one down here. And if I wanted to, you can take sandpaper and you can um, take off some of what's already on here. You can take it off with sandpaper. If I wanted the uh, brass to show, I don't know if you could see right here. Can you see right here? There's a little tip of the brass showing, which is underneath the paint and the wax. So if I wanted that more of that brass to show all over, all I have to do is get some sandpaper and just um, apply some sandpaper to the paint and the wax and it will come right off and it will show me the uh, brass underneath. So it's easy to do that with uh, sandpaper. Okay, so let's move on down here. This one is not done yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one down here. Hopefully you guys can see, it's kind of getting weird in here. So again, something like this with these uh, crevices there, that would be a good place to leave your wax if you wanted to right inside there. Oh, I have to do down there still. I forgot about that. So I don't want this area to be too, too have too too much wax so I'm not going to you know I'm not going to um, leave a bunch in there I don't think I'll have to go back and see what I did with the other side okay let me scoot this back down because I forgot to do the uh, sorry I forgot to do the middle part here and this this is what I was selling telling you guys yesterday right here, wherever you've got detailing like this, this is the perfect place to do uh, waxing. If you're into this look. This is also a great place if you wanted this to be something that was blingy. Um, what did I do recently that was bling? I can't even remember now. I did something that was all blingy. Um, you could you could paint this let's say I want it to be dark gray I could have done it a really dark gray and then I would put the turquoise wax here which would make it um, blingy oh let me put a little bit more over here So I'm just going to start wiping and anything that's kind of inside there, we want it to stay. We want the wax to stay in there. So right in here. And then right in here. See how that looks so much better now? Let's move it down here. Let's put some on right here on this door and hopefully you guys can see uh, the difference between that and this. 
I'm going to go inside here first. Okay, same with right here. How I was talking about the hardware. There's paint on here, and I'm going to put dark wax on here. But if you look close, you can see the bling of the brass little bits. If I wanted that to be more blingy with the brass showing, all I have to do is go in with my sandpaper and sand off some of the paint and the uh, wax and more of that brass uh, would show. So right here, right this area right here is where you want to really put in your wax. Areas like that uh, are perfect for the buildup of wax. You guys see? Okay. So we're just going to do all the um, edging first because you have to work fast. You do not want to uh, take your time with wax. So I'm going to plop in a whole bunch here in this corner. And then I'm going to um, just start taking it off. And how much, this now all depends, what's, what's the look you're going for on how much you're going to take off or leave on. I want to leave some gunk here. That's a good place to leave uh, the wax right there. I'm not ready yet to work here, so I'm not going to leave the wax there. Take off the stuff around the edge. I'm not work. I'm not ready yet to work with that. Okay, let's take some of this off here. So it's a process um, to do this because you know you're trying to go for a certain look. I'm gonna put some more here. Let's do some wiping now. Do some down here. Do some over here. I'm just going to wipe this part off right here because I'm not ready uh, to work with that area yet. So I like what's happening here around the handle. And if, um, if I decide, oh my goodness me, this is just way too dark, you can come back with your clear wax and you can um, erase the dark wax. That's another good thing about it is it can be erased. So I want to make sure I get some inside here, in there, okay, and then once you're all done, once I'm all done this whole bottom part, I'm going to step back and I'm going to look at it as a whole and make sure that, um, make sure that it's even on both sides. So you just have to kind of get used to how you hold your rag, um, you know, like how much you're taking off. Let's get this edge here real quick. 
think I might have forgotten to put clear wax on this edge. It's going to be a little darker. So I still have to come back and um, I'm going to, uh, I still have to do the back of this door. I'm just going to do clear wax. I'm not going to darken the back of the door. There's just no reason for that. You know, it's going to stay closed the majority of the time. So, so I will do all that later. So let's see here. How does this look? Does it look, does it, we want to make sure it kind of looks even. I think it's pretty even. I think the inside uh, paneled areas are pretty even. This, okay, hang on, I see right here. This handle has more gunk on it than the one down there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna add just a little bit more um, wax to this handle here. Just a tad bit more. Actually, I'm going to brush off the edge. So I don't know if you guys can, you can't really see in the can, but you can, if you, let's see if I hold the, can you see the mix? I don't know if you can tell that there's a mix in there. So I'm just going to plop it on this way, and I'm going to try and match the other uh, hardware down there. That one had just a little bit more. I'm going to be coming back with silver. Um, it doesn't matter that it's brass underneath, like some of the brass is showing. It doesn't matter. If you can, you know, the silver and the brass go really well together, actually. So now I'm going to add some, add, take some of it off and look down and make sure it looks okay. I think it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. These transfers, um, I'm telling you, they're just amazing because of what you can put on them. Okay, that's probably enough. I don't want too much. Thank you. So I'm going to take that off. Actually, let me bring that down because I need to just go ahead and do the top of it. So I need to just make sure the coloring um, on the drawer here is going to match the the bottom drawers. I, I want them to look the same. So just, I don't think, I, I think I might have forgotten clear wax on the tops, but that's okay. We just do a quick, quick, a quick, quick dark wax on there just to make sure the paint is sealed. And let's see how that looks. If that looks even like the others. I think it does. Just this one little edge over here. Let me just get this one little edge right here. Okay, so I think that's pretty close to the other drawers. So that's it, you guys. I just wanted to show you real quick working with dark wax um, and all the, um, how it adds so much.
character to a piece. And if I didn't like this, uh, I could certainly come back with my clear wax and uh, take off some of the dark, you know, the dark wax if there's areas where I got it too dark or something. Let's say in here I decided I want, no, I think I want just the, the trim just to be lighter and the dark wax only inside. Then you just take your little brush and put some clear wax on it and brush on the clear wax and you kind of erase the dark wax. So that's something else that you could do. All right, you guys, that's it. Thank you.